Praise King Silas. Speaking about the word hater, you've been hearing this word, you know, Puff Daddy, and all that shit. Back in the day with Mace, this word started to blow up. People started to use it a lot. And now, you know, it's a common thing. You know what I'm saying? It's been embedded in the people's thought processes. Whereas, you know, in like certain communities, there's certain superstars, those models often discuss. They're propped up through capital. They're getting paid. Uh, they look a certain way. They're supposed to be just like you, if you like that. You know, there's a model for every kind of type of appearance, let's say. Um, you know, and, and again, like people don't see past their own eyes, so it's, they don't really recognize what it is that they're about, like what their purpose is in life. They've been separated from their soul being. And so they tend to look at people that look like them, and they think that those are the people they should follow. Um, that's called ignorance. But unfortunately, popularity drives this course, and those that are viewed as popular are seen as attractive. Those other people want to be like them because they want to be popular too. I mean, with popularity comes a lot of advantages, doesn't there? Uh, so who wouldn't want to be, you know, popular? Only the Christ, the Christ people. The Christ people recognize that those that exalt themselves will be cast down. Yes, so an I way is a process of humility. And this humility is the beginning of wisdom. And wisdom is creativity. It only can come from one place. Yes, it. That man tries to ignore, you see? Because that man only recognizes what that man sees with that man's eyes. It's convenient, it works out for him. It gets him rich for a short while. And this creativity is often stolen. I mean, that's what most of the digital infrastructure exists, not just to spy on you, but to take your information and to use it. So example, you on there, you might come up with something fancy that you thought of and you say something on social media. Well, if it's smart enough, somebody's going to buy it. Somebody's going to take it and they're going to um, sell it. Um, you're not going to get paid for it, but somebody will get paid for it because you put the content on there, like, for example, this, this platform here. Sometimes, call for what you will. Put a video out and then you keep your ears open and you start to hear the people start to say the same things. Um, you know, and some of this is because like, if somebody just has a good question, they have a good question. And so what these communication channels that seek to modify your behavior do is they intercept those good questions and they use them in their projection so that they have a panel that will uh, tend to conflict in, uh, in thought processing. And one of them's thinking one way, the other one's on the other side, you know. And the one that's, that's supposed to be the rebel is going to ask the same question that you are asking because they're saying, well, this is what people are thinking. And then the so-called expert, the real cool one, the one that's really kind of has it together, he's going to deliver the answer, yeah? Now, the answer may consist of mostly truth, but there's something in there that's, that's tainted. And this is why people have a reason to be upset. It doesn't mean people hate, you know? If people decide, you know, let's say you're walking down the street, right? Somebody jumps out of bushes, clocks you over the head, boom, you know, you got money, you know, psh, rips that out of you, takes your chain, he's gone, you know what I'm saying? But you catch him, you know, around the corner, and such and such, ah, we saw him go over there, you know? You might confront this person. And when you confront them, are you going to, like, how are you going to deal with it? Are, are you going to, you know, I mean, you going to try to get your money back? And if so, does that make you a hater? You know, 
this this man hating, you know what I'm saying? I got a chain now, and I'm you know I'm doing my thing, right? This is what this guy's thinking, and 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 here comes this guy, and he wants his stuff back. He's a hater, but that's what's going on. That's what's going on. So, I people recognize I write to I life. No one could stand in the way. Yeah. And if you happen to be a creative person, it's advised to reflect your thoughts with a pen and paper. Don't even use the telephone no more. Don't use the computer. If you have a typewriter, that's fine. But some of the newer typewriters, they're gonna work like computers. So as long as there's a chip, it's gonna intercept that information in the so-called binary code. Okay, this is gonna be able to be intercepted and it's gonna be you know, seen, basically, your activities. Now, the information is collected through the satellite. Whereas, like, if you're on the device, you know it's slow, you know, it's like, it takes a while to upload and all that, because everything's connected to the satellite. It used to be, you pick up the phone, you got a dial tone. You know, so now it's, it's, we're getting to the point where, you know, there's really no freedom. There's really no freedom. Um, now, maybe some people think they got freedom. You know, they got a bunch of money, they're flying around, but they're slaves to themselves. And if I and I have to be free, I and I have to find a way out of this place for good. And like, you know, like people like, you hear, you hear a couple things. People often say like, you know, don't worry about nothing. Ja will take care of everything. You know, that's, that's fine. I mean, you know, that's a good way to live. Like, I wouldn't try to take that away from someone. Um, I, I find that I find that preparation necessary. I, I find that, um, you know, there is an enemy. And there is a need to protect innocent people from this beast. And it is I and I duty. If I and I don't do this, then I and I aren't real soldier, you know. But that's the difference be between the Russ and and just the the Rastafarian. Is that the Russ are soldiers, man. We're going to war right now, not later. And this is it, because most of what the Pentagon does, or the GC GCHQ, or these whatever they call it. The, the, the uh, offense department in Britain and other places, you know, the alliance. I mean, this is a global network. This is the same Cesar Bonjour is has infested the earth, and and his means of warfare is just this communication. I mean, that's his preferable means. Because you know how you always hear about, oh, we prefer diplomatic means. Yeah, most of the time, you know, there's advantages to the war because when people, uh, pay, you know, get shot, killed, there's the, that patriotism. Man. Everybody's, oh, that's my brother, you know? So then you actually get more uh, for less. So there's a time and place. I mean, these people aren't just gonna sit around and do nothing. That's why they have to have these bombing campaigns, send the troops on the ground. Because they gotta feel like they, they're doing something. If they don't, they feel like they're something. So, um, but that's their thing. Like we, I and I, always strong, regardless, you know. But I and I just pure defense. But I and I recognize, I and I under attack. And this is the source of attack. And this is the way it's done. People around have a right to know what's real. And if they're not being told truth, reality, that, that, that's going to affect you.
because this is what you depend on. You depend on other people for survival, don't you, to some extent. Now, if you go out in the woods, I suppose it don't matter, but even if you're in the woods, like a Ted Kaczynski type, the man comes with his bulldozer and starts taking out land and causing noise. I mean, that's, that's a threat too. I mean, is it not a threat to the wildlife there? So then how is it not the threat to the human? <clears throat> but it's through their rule that they're permitted to do so. That's why the rule is wrong. And that means it's evil. There's no yin and yang, you know, gray areas here. You're either good or you're bad. And although they may be able to fool people to thinking that they're good. Some folks know better. And it's our responsibility to say something. <clears throat>